if you are elderly male and suffering from prostate problem and if you don't want surgery we have one more treatment option available to you that is prostatic artery embolization hello everyone my name is dr garav kheredia i am vascular intervention radiologist Prostate is a walnut-sized gland which is located beneath the urinary bladder. It surrounds the upper part of urethra. Urethra is a tube which carries urine from the urinary bladder out through the penis. Prostate gland is seen only in the male, in the man. Function of this gland is to produce a seminal fluid. Now because of old age, prostate gland can enlarge in size which is known as a benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. Benign means it's a non-cancerous enlargement of the gland. Now because of this enlargement, it can cause compression of the urethra which is a tube carrying urine out of the bladder. So a person will develop symptoms of urinary obstruction. Difficulty in starting urination, straining or difficulty in passing urine, frequent urination, weak stream, sense of incomplete emptying of the urinary bladder, frequency of urination, frequent urination at the night, nocturia. These are the common symptoms of the prostate enlargement. So once you experience all those lower urinary tract obstruction symptoms, you may contact your local physician, maybe urologist, and uh, first investigation generally is a sonography or ultrasound test, which will tell us about your prostate volume, which will tell us about status of your kidney, urinary bladder, and also how much urine is left after you pass the urine. So sonography will give us uh, a broad idea about your prostate problem. Also, uroflometry is a commonly done test and uh, sometimes CT and MRI also required. Symptom severity is typically assessed by IPSA score, which is a series of questions asked to the patient and also quality of life score, so which will tell us about uh, what is the symptomatic severity of the prostate enlargement. Typically, mild or initial symptoms are managed with the medication. There are several kinds of medications are available uh, to control the prostate symptoms. So, all patients generally they start with the medical management. If symptoms are moderate to severe, patients are not tolerating medications, then next option is to do surgery. TURP, transurethral dissection of prostate, is a current standard of care uh, where urologists pass an endoscope through your pelvis into your uh, prostate gland and it will scoop out the uh, prostate tissue, thus uh, clearing the pathway for the urine. Uh, this uh, surgery has to be done under general anesthesia. It carries uh, some risk and uh, sometimes some patients may be on blood thinning medications uh, for the heart or stroke or the problem so those medication needs to be stopped so all those factors you should consider while uh, considering for the surgery a prostatic artery embolization is an angiographic technique uh, where interventional urology will pass a small tube inside your prostatic artery through a very small pinhole in your groin or the wrist area and uh, he, will, he or she will block the prostatic blood supply on the both right hand side and left hand side. Once you block the blood supply, reduce the blood supply to the prostate gland, over a period of few weeks prostate gland will shrink in size, thus relieving the urinary obstruction. A prostate this procedure is done under x-ray guidance in the cath lab. Prostatic artery embolization carries several advantages over surgery. It's a minimally invasive procedure, so safety profile or side effects is, is very minimal or almost major side effects are not seen. Patient can go home very next day. 
which you can resume all activity in two to three days time. There are no sexual side effect uh, with this procedure. The long term effect, long term success rate is almost up to 75% of the patient. Initial success rate is 80-85% patient. There are several studies have been done in the Europe, China, Brazil and many other countries. We have almost 10 years data available for the prostatic artery embolization. So this procedure is, is very effective. It is much more effective than the medicine. If not very effective than the surgery, but it is much more effective than the medicine. So if you are suffering from the prostate enlargement, if you are not happy with the medications, if you are having side effects with the medication, and if you don't want to do surgery, you are afraid of side effects of the surgery, or if you are not fit for the surgery, then definitely prostate artery embolization is a option for you. Contact your nearest uh, intervention radiologist to see whether you are a candidate for prostatic artery embolization. Thank you.